past few months I have learned a lot uh, about me and I don't know how to explain this but um, this is very much um, an eye-opener for me because I've always been sort of in the center of attention this is what I do when I want to concentrate or when I want to come back to me sort of how I uh, disconnect from people and I hate to say this I really hate to say this I am you know you guys know how I feel about losing our freedoms how I feel about how the pandemic is handled uh, you guys know very very well how I feel about that and I am not gonna get more into details because my message is not for those it's not to wake people up it's basically to let you who are awake know that you're not alone and that's where I stand and that's where I keep it because I noticed that if it takes me to wake you up you will always follow somebody else's lead you know what I mean and if I'm gone you're gonna go to somebody else who tells you a more entertaining story I've learned that so <laughs> I'm losing track already because of my uh, a negative predispositions where was I um, you know it's important to sort of let go and the whole covered thing okay in everything that's bad in most things that are bad not everything but then there's always something I believe the energy of the world kind of works like that that you cannot really have a hundred percent pure evil in this world I don't believe that because I actually feel that through the COVID lockdown as well as wearing a mask uh, I have it helped me and not just me I had talked to a few Irish negative people who also said the same thing it helped me get grounded a little bit this forcing me to isolate and thankfully I have people in my life who uh, keep me from feeling lonely thankfully I have that um, even though I like to disconnect from them but I have you guys online who I am connected to and I, I honestly have to tell you that there were times when I didn't want to be on Facebook anymore or this and Facebook is, is crap Oh, my finger is itching and uh, I mean what they're doing right now is but you guys are on there and where else do I reach more of you think about that many of you come from Google but not enough a lot less from Google now basically by the way but that's a whole different story um, DuckDuckGo is good um, as a search engine many of you have come from there I appreciate all of you watching this and especially my last videos about COVID and blood types and hey I have this is just one of the many things I've been saying for many months long before mainstream media picked it up and uh, I encourage you guys to subscribe to my blog if you don't want to lose touch because a lot of you have come to me in the last few weeks also who said you disappeared for years no I didn't disappear Facebook deleted my group that's what happened so if you want to stay in touch with me the best thing you can do uh, subscribe to my blog or sign up at the forum I never send newsletters I only if I have something to announce maybe that's really important I will send you guys um, a mass email and um, what else I was gonna say I think that this kind of uh, experience of you know also a shift in you know no longer attracting the people I used to as much but it also means you let your defenses down and you need to protect yourself one way or the other but it's actually important I think to be who you really are and were even as a child before your defenses came up that you sort of let them go 
and a lot of you, you know, that is the big problem. The world causes you issues. And I've talked a lot about RH negative men having it really, really bad, man. And the, and the, the studies show that. Uh, you know, it is just that what you give is not always what you get back. And when I say something about follow intuition, intuition I believe in, but if you're connected with the wrong people, using your intuition can also uh, create more hurdles. It'll get you to the right people eventually. But, you know, we all know that it's easier in this world often, or it looks like it, for people just to suck up and be fake. You know, that's what, but it's impossible for us to stay fake. You know, we can maybe fake it. Actually, we're really good at it if we have to be, but then our energy level goes, we feel dirty. We feel like it's entering us. It's trying to enter us, you know what I mean? By the way, this is for entertainment purposes only, so this is not scientific advice. But I wanna tell you guys, I thank you guys very, very much for watching, those of you who watch. And the new ones who are coming from you know where you're coming from i really appreciate that and i'm happy to reach out to your country full of rh negative people and that's basically where i'm at we need to unite people from everywhere in the world who are rh negative um, and that includes non-english speaking countries so i am happy about that i uh, should i end this video yes or no i don't know Maybe something good comes to my mind. Um, that's what I'm learning. What have you learned recently about you? Because it's very difficult when you're uh, in a center of attention. It's like you sort of pay attention to what comes over well, what resonates well, you know what I mean? It's kind of like Donald Trump when he developed this persona on The Apprentice that he somehow has to keep up even if it backfires, but that's cause sort of the trap you get in because we live in this world. We don't live in an RH negative only community where we can just be, we can just flow. And people will get how we are and who we are, you know? It doesn't work like that, unfortunately, guys. Um, so I can only encourage you to not isolate because we need people, but we need people who are like us, you know, but, you know, exchange energy. So. Um, I have also recently realized just how much of an impact somebody can make that you may in underestimate, but you feel their energy very, very strongly. They may not be the smartest, they may not be the be popular, they may not be, but people can make a huge impact on you, even if they seem insignificant at the moment. And empathy is another thing. Empathy is something we have naturally. But people learn to play on that. And so if you show your empathy to random people, it can easily backfire and get abused. So be careful with that. Don't let people, um, you know, look at it as a weakness. That's where the door slam comes in, the RH negative door slam. The empath INFJ door slam meaning that once we close the door we allow somebody to show who they are but once they show us who they are it's not difficult for us to actually close the door completely not just to a person but to a job or to a, a location we've been in or a plan that we had where we realized that's not really what we want and that's also something that can, that will happen when you allow yourself you see when you look, when you live in life, in, in, in society, you see limitations too much. And I realize more and more, the advice that people give to me is, see yourself tomorrow. I gave myself that advice a long time ago, but I'm better at giving it than receiving it, even if I give it to myself. See yourself tomorrow. Live your life as if you're already where you want to be. Setting goals, I think, is actually important in terms of not letting us get sidetracked. Now, again, I don't know what we would be like or what we feel like, what we would feel like, you know, in an RH negative only, on an RH negative community offline, it would be electrifying, I think. 
uh, not because somebody else provides entertainment or you have a concert or a big show, but just the fact that we can just let go and get the energy from each other, the real energy. And it's not that side glance where people tune out because they don't want to admit. You see, that's the other thing I'm asking you guys. I'm putting together now a list of 100 things are negative people or 